Dave Ibarra, go ahead. Mike, how does it feel for you? I know there's a lot of history, a lot of love in this upstate New York area for you. How does it feel to kick off Iron Mike in this area that means so much to you? Hey, um, to be honest with you, I fought in the same town before the amateur. And, um, man, it's really nostalgic being up here. It's coming up 90 and 80 and coming up these um, highways. It's like, yes, I remember being 14 years old, driving in an old beat up station wagon, driving up here. Um, man, we just, wow, I just, it brought me back when I was a child. I went back to my childhood, my teenage years when I was here. And I knew, um, upstate New York, um, it has such a um, pervasive history of fighting. You know, you're always from the bare knuckle era. And uh, matter of fact, John, John L. Sullivan won, uh, I think it was maybe Joe Grossi, who was a Troy Terror, he won the heavyweight championship for me. He was from Troy, New York. So a lot of these guys connected to Detroit, all these guys like in the 16, what, well, like 1690, 1800, 1804, 05, all these guys were um, popular fighters up in the upstate New York area. I was explaining it earlier when we went to the um, Boxing Hall of Fame in Canada, it was a young man by the name, he's an English guy, but his name was Jim Bleacher. And he was a gang member, they were all in gangs back then, all they had their gang. <coughs> Instead of a gang of guys fighting, everyone gets hurt. They put the two best men in the ring. They said, whoever won is the boss of the whole city. Our gang won the city. And Jim Bleacher, ironically, was the first man that came to his corner and put his red sash. And then the other opponent went to his corner and he put his blue sash. And what it represented was Democrat and Republican. And that's how the corners came into existence.